What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing some 5G testing on the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm currently recording with the iPhone 12 Pro. This is, you know, my old phone. Uh, sorry if you hear any background noise. My baby brother is right by me. So let's go ahead and check out the speeds. Let me just show ahead, go ahead and show you some previous results. So 113, 138, 78. And I did hit almost, yeah, look at that. 83 upload, guys. So very good 5G speeds in general, 113, 138. These are were all in the car while driving. So now let's go ahead and run a speed test. I'm going to run it all around my house. So I'm going to run one here in this room. Oh, uh, okay, one second, got me. Uh, <laughs> um, so look at that. So we're getting pretty decent speeds here. And a nice uplink. All right, very good uplink. Okay, awesome. After the speed test, I'm going to go ahead and move locations. So this is the results, 48.2 down, 43.3 up with a 30, 39 millisecond ping and a 1.2 millisecond jitter. All right, let's go ahead and move to another room. All right, guys, so I actually just went ahead and uh, moved my baby brother. He's now downstairs. So I'm, gonna, I'm in the same exact location. I decided to run one more just to see the accuracy here. I, um, you know what I was going to do? I was going to like do an airplane reset, but I'll just move my phone left and right to see if that makes a difference. And sometimes it does for some reason. So, okay, I'll, way better performance here. The same amount of ping time, uh, 11 millisecond jitter. And the upload, very good upload. Wow. This is awesome that we're getting these types of upload speeds too. So 84.5 megabits per second download, 51.8 megabits per second upload, 39 millisecond ping, 11 millisecond jitter. All right, guys, let's go ahead and now we will actually move to a different location in the house. All right, everybody, we are currently now in my bedroom. Uh, this is where I am. I'm on my desk. Let's run a speed test. Also, it is pouring rain outside and it's freezing. So that take note that could affect the speed. I'll move the phone left and right. Maybe that will do something. So 53 millisecond ping, a little bit higher ping, about the same download. Let me check out the uplink. So a little different on the uplink, but still very good speeds. I'll just leave it here now. So very good speeds in general, super nice. Um, so there's the final speed test, 71.5 down, 28.6 up with a 53 millisecond ping and a 5.3 millisecond jitter. So let's go ahead and run one more. We'll just move this light here. All right. So we're gonna run two in each location. We still have two more locations, maybe three, but I'll just go ahead and move it left and right again, I guess. I don't know why, I don't know if that does anything, but you know what, we'll just leave it still, see if that changes, maybe. I don't know, so roughly the same speed test. A little bit higher ping though, 58 millisecond ping, 7.6 millisecond jitter, with maybe about the same upload, I'll just move left and right, yeah, I don't know. Maybe 14 upload, 12 upload, all right, and 12.9 upload. So in the previous test, we got about the one I just ran before, the 71.5 down, and 28.6 up with the 53 millisecond ping. I mean, it is pouring outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but let's go ahead and go to another location. I'm going to go downstairs and then maybe I'll go to our basement and see the signal strength there. All right, guys, as you can see, it is raining. Um, I'm not going to show too much, but let's run one down here. Interesting. Interesting. I might do an airplane reset. Yeah, guys, let's just go ahead and do an airplane reset. And this is T-Mobile. 5G. All right, let's see if that, that helps it. I'll just move it left and right again. I'm pretty sure this doesn't really do anything. Okay, so maybe it just needed a little uh, airplane reset there. But this is still pretty decent speeds. 
So about 40 millisecond ping. So uh, pretty close to the first speed that we ran in the video, about 39 milliseconds. So interesting, I'm gonna go ahead and move one more location, uh, about 10 feet difference and see if there's any difference in speed over there. But 29.2 down, 4.71 up, 40 millisecond ping, 7.5 millisecond jitter. All right, see you guys in the next location. All right, so we're about 10 feet away. We just went up to three bars, now back to two. Let's see here, 5G. And just so you know, guys, I will be make, uploading a video where I hit two, almost 200 megabits on LTE. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, so very interesting. We'll run two. And then I might do one outside. And you might be wondering, it's raining, but I'll just go in the garage or something and see what kinds of speeds we're getting. Moving it left and right. This really isn't doing anything. Let's run another one. The phone is getting just a bit warm. Not really, but. Look at that. So decent performance. It seems like it performs better upstairs, which is interesting. It's funny because I ran this, this speed test here once and, oh, we're on LTE. Okay, we're on LTE. Oh, now we're back on 5G. I don't know how that worked. Um, interesting. I remember, I was just about to say, usually we get faster speeds than this. I won't do an airplane reset, That it's okay. Let's go ahead and go to the garage. All right, guys, so I just, um, as you can see, it's, it's wet, raining. So now we're gonna go ahead and run some speed tests. I'll just go about right here and see if it's, uh, since we're kind of, not really outside, but kind of, we'll do one like this, we'll do an airplane reset and do another one. So 5G, all right, look at that. Performs a lot better out here. Why? I'm not too sure. We're right above the room where we just were, upstairs. So I really can't wait, I can't wait to test it when I'm actually like in this, you know, when I can actually go outside because it is raining right now. But um, very interesting. Let's do an airplane reset. See if that makes it better or, or worse, worse or better. And this will be the last test of today's video. I really appreciate you guys for... Uh, wow, I just mumbled there. I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you guys in the next one. And... After this speed test, let's see, 108, oh wait, let's move it here, uh-huh, uh-huh, there we go, uh-huh, all right, about 104 download, and a really good upload as well, so 104 megabits per second download, roughly 30, say, 40, 39, 40, 41, 41 upload. And a 15 millisecond ping and a 5.3 millisecond jitter. I really appreciate y'all watch for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys. I know I just ended the video, but I just ran this speed test just once off camera. And look at that. In the same exact area. So, as you can see, I guess I shouldn't move the phone back and forth. But stay tuned for the next videos. You'll be surprised how fast I'm getting on LTE. Um... And you'll see why not on T-Mobile LT, but it's it's pretty insane. You guys definitely want to stay tuned. And uh, once again, like, subscribe, comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.